okay, so it's this week we're learning that God helps us to be strong and brave. Swapping. And I don't know about you, but I don't always feel very strong. And I definitely don't always feel very brave. There's things that make me feel not brave all the time. And today's Bible story is about a man who also didn't feel very strong and very brave. But he knew that God was going to help him. Kids, did anybody here go to a bonfire this week? Put your hands up if you did. Don't shut call out. Just put your hands up. Okay, and put your hands down. That's quite a lot of you. Now, this video is of some people building a bonfire. And you can see that they've built up all the wood and they've set fire to it. And it's burning. And you can kind of see the wood's going down and down and down as the fire burns. Because that's what happens with fire, doesn't it? It burns up all the wood. But look, they're adding more so that the fire keeps on going. That's what happens. Normally, the fire burns up all of the wood. And if they didn't add more wood, then the fire would stop. Well, in our story from the Bible today, God made a fire that didn't burn up the wood. And God did it to show just how powerful he was. And it was so amazing. Okay, so our story is about a guy called Moses. I think Moses is going to come out. He's gonna, here's Moses. And Moses was a shepherd, which meant that he looked after his sheep. And he was part of God's great big family. Now, Moses lived in a place called Egypt. And the ruler of Egypt was this guy called Pharaoh. But Pharaoh wasn't a very kind ruler at all. And he was horrible to God's people. He made them into slaves and made them do all of his building work and didn't look after them at all. And so they asked God, God, please help us. And so God decided to send Moses to help them. He asked Moses to do it. But you know, Moses had quite a lot of questions for God. And so in our story today, we're going to keep count of how many questions, I don't know if you can see this, but it says questions, how many questions Moses had. But in our story, God tells Moses that he will help him be strong and brave, and God answers his questions. So we're also going to count how many answers God gives to Moses' questions, okay? And you might want to count along as well. So one day, Moses was watching his sheep. And he saw something really strange. There was a bush that was on fire, but it didn't burn up because God had made the fire. And a voice came from inside the bush saying, Moses, Moses, yes, here I am. My family in Egypt are asking me to help them and get them away from the people that are hurting them and being mean to them. Moses, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to help my family get out. Me? What, what could I do? I can't possibly do that. I am always with you, Moses. But what if I say, what if they ask me who sent me? Who, sh who should I say who sent me to help them? Tell them that I have sent you. Oh, but, but I'm just a shepherd. I'm not important. No one's going to listen to me if I go to Pharaoh. Okay. So Moses had this question, question number three, that was. <laughs> and do you know what? This might seem crazy, but God did some amazing things to answer this next question. He showed Moses some amazing things. So Moses had this special staff, his walking stick, and God said, throw it onto the floor. So Moses did. And it turned into a snake. <laughs> and then God told Moses to pick the snake back up off the ground. And when he did, it turned back into a staff. Wow. Then God said to Moses, put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses did. And when he brought it out, it was <laughs> covered in disease. It was so, so poorly. And then God, him, God told him to put it back inside of his cloak. And when he pulled it back out again, it was completely fine. <sighs> then God showed him that he could turn the water into blood. Oh. Wow. You know what, kids? Those things seem crazy. They don't happen all the time. But God was doing it to show Moses that he was so strong. So that even though Moses had loads of questions, God would help him be strong and brave. But do you know what? Moses had even more questions than this. But, but God, I'm not good at speaking. I wouldn't know what to say. I don't know what to say to them. What should I say? Moses, I made you and I love you. I'm always with you and I will help you. But God, oh, why me? Why me, God? Please send someone else. Please send someone else. I have chosen you, Moses. 
I will be with you, but I tell you what, why don't you ask your brother to come with you to help you too? Okay? Okay. So do you know what, kids? Moses finally said yes to God, and he said that he'd go and help God's people and free them from Pharaoh. But let's have a look. How many questions did Moses ask? He asked five, didn't he? Five times. Moses didn't think he was strong enough or brave enough. He didn't think he could do it. But look, five times God said, I am with you. I love you. I'll do this with you. You can be strong. You can be brave. And so Moses knew that he could because God had told him. And isn't that amazing? Even when Moses didn't think he could do it, God was saying, yes, you can. And kids, it's the same for me and it's the same for you. Maybe there's times where you have lots of questions or you don't feel strong enough or brave enough. Well, God says, I'm here with you. I am always with you. I'll always love you. I'll always help you and listen to you. And so kids, remember, just like God helped Moses to be strong and brave, he can help you be strong and brave too.